Welcome back viewers. This is a compressed discussion of chapter 2, Intellectual Revolutions for the Subject, Science, Technology, and Society. Before proceeding with this presentation, let us first try to understand the title. The root word for the word intellectual is intellect. And intellect refers to the faculty of reasoning and understanding objectively, governed by facts and not feelings or emotions. While revolution means sudden change in a system. Parang yung jowa mo, kahapon lang switch siya sa'yo, pero ngayon, bila na siyang naging cold. This lesson will focus on the sudden change in the way society viewed nature. First to be discussed is the Coper Copernican Revolution. On the left is Claudius Ptolemy, the proponent of geocentric model. And on the right is Nic Nicholas Copernicus, the proponent of heliocentric model. The concept of geocentrism told us that the Earth is the center of the solar system and of the universe. All planets and stars revolve around it. It was widely accepted model during the 15th century. People who opposed this concept were considered heretics or erehe, antichristo, non-believers of God. Some of them were arrested and burned at the stakes. Sinunog sila. But some personalities braved this harsh time, directly going against geocentrism by advo advo advocating for heliocentrism. The concept of heliocentrism told us that the sun is the center of the solar system and all planets from Mercury to Pluto, which was demoted as a major planet on 2006, revolve around the sun. It was first proposed by Nicholas Copernicus and later supported by some scientists like Johannes Kepler and Galileo Galilei. Because their revolutionary idea goes go against their established norm, they were punished. Galileo Galilei was sentenced to home arrest. But more and more evidences were found to support their claims and in 1992, the Roman Catholic Church apologized to Galileo. By the way, this is the middle finger of Galileo's right hand displayed in an Italian museum. Next to be discussed is the Darwinian Revolution. This is considered to be one of the most controversial intellectual revolutions of its time because it goes against directly to one of the teachings of the Catholic Church, creationism. In 1859, Charles Darwin published his book on the origin of species, which is about evolution through natural selection. This idea goes against, goes directly against creationism, which states that life, especially humans, originated with supernatural acts of divine creation. It created a clash of ideas between the religious and scientific communities, and caricature like this became widespread. Ikaw ba? Ano ang mas pipiliin mong idea? Ikaw ay nilalang ng Diyos o ikaw ay nagmula raw sa unggoy? But take note that Darwin's theory does not ex explicitly state that humans came from apes and by 1870s, Darwinism became widely accepted. And last to be discussed is the Freudian Revolution with Simon Freud's psychoanalysis. In the past, the field of psychology was always classified under philosophy. Psychology was considered more of an art rather than science. In the late 19th century, Simon Freud was able to change people's perception of psychology with his revolutionary theory of psychoanalysis. Psychoanalysis is the study that explains human behavior. In his theory, Freud explained that there are many conscious and un unconscious factors that can influence behavior and emotions. He also argued that personality is a product of three conflicting elements. Id, 
ego and super ego. Despite criticism, Freud still continued to work on finishing his theory and in fact tried to explain how psychoanalysis can be a clinical method in treating some mental disorders. Soon enough, people were able to understand the concept of psychoanalysis, which eventually resulted in classifying psychology as science. These three revolutionary theories are just some of the many scientific ideas that transformed and molded societies and beliefs. The changes they brought to the perspectives and perceptions of the scientific community and the public are evidence of science and technology's link to humanities. Through scientific research and experimentation, people will continue to deepen their understanding of the world and of the universe.